Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today is November 5th, 2018, and I'm going to hand this right over to Vegas. Hi, good evening, everyone. Hope you guys had a really good weekend. And just before we get started, I've had a lot of people requesting information on the over-the-counter stock market coaching classes. And I'm pleased to say that the spots have all been filled but I've still had a few people message asking for some space and we're willing to open up 10 more spots only because we don't really want to have a massive session. Um, these are going to be ongoing coaching classes and it's $49.99 for the month, but each class will be a different topic and it'll be taught by Patrick, who is a specialized mentor in the OTC market. You guys are going to love this guy how passionate he is and how dedicated he is. And all the training is going to be done live on YouTube via a secured channel. So if you're interested in learning more about OTC, I think you're going to really love the $49.99 investment. It's an investment in yourself. Okay. And each class will be an hour and a half and it starts November 13th, next Tuesday. So if you're interested, I've got 10 spots. First come, first serve, just message me, Vegas at ilovestocks.com, or you can just message me here on our YouTube channel, and I'll message you back, and we'll connect. Okay, so on to the stocks for today. So we're going to talk about INUV, TRPX, ABIO, GROW, SIN, and the OTC pick, DIGAF. So let's start with INUV. So this stock here is Unovo, and there was news on this today. And the news on this one was that it's going to be acquired by Conversion Point for two twenty-two dollars a share. So that's a really good deal. It's about $75.7 million deal. This deal is going to close at the end of the first quarter of 2019. So this really won't be on the books until the first quarter. So even though it had a run today, um, and Jim's going to talk about the chart in a minute, um, I think that we should keep this on watch again, even into the new year, because uh, once this goes on the books, this is good revenue for the company. Now, I just wanted to mention that Conversion Point uh, actually focuses on non-Amazon channels. So including Walmart, Shopify, and big commerce. So this is going to be, I think, a stock to watch. They're into also artificial intelligence. So it's very good to keep this on a watch list for future growth on this particular stock. But I'm going to let Jim talk about that chart and what he sees on the weekly and on the daily. Well, today, right out of the gate, we opened right about at the yearly pivot point maybe a little bit higher than that. I would maybe call the yearly pivot point right around 80 some, 80 some cents. <coughs> Excuse me. So we bounced all the way up, <clears throat> up to a high today of 155, and that broke out past the year high. Brings us up to a one day. So this was a real nice stock today. We were able to play the pullbacks. I got in and out of this thing probably five or six times today. But first, when we broke out, we had a pretty good high there, and it just kind of sold off and pulled back and went to a low of around 83 cents. And I called that baby right around 83, 88 cents. I said, it's time. And the thing bounced all the way up, closed strong to a 155 high. We tried to play with that a couple of times, pulled back after hours a little bit. So we're right around 138. And this is INUV. We're going to keep it on watch. I'm not in it right now, but I'll probably be seeing it again tomorrow. Okay. Go ahead, Jim. TRPX is next. Okay. Well, TRPX, Therapix Biosciences, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Israeli tickers, and this is one of those beautiful ones. And, you know, I want to just make a comment here that so many people are so worried about the FOMC meeting and the terms noise out there in the market you know focus setups and trpx has been one i've been on 
talking about this for over a week. This is a company that's going to be bought by a Canadian company and the deal basically has been signed and it's just a matter of time for this to close and uh, everyone's you know misinterpreting the information but you know this is a fabulous stock um, and you know alerting it when it was under six dollars so you know if you got into the swing trade and we talked about why it was worth uh, a swing trade. I mean, we saw the big move today finally came in on this very undervalued stock. So this is keep it on watch and Jim can talk about the chart, but there's room, I believe for this to go a lot more. I'm going to say I'm looking for about 13 to $14 on the stock longer term. Well, here's another one that broke another year's high again and more or less right out of the gate. We started at a high. We had a couple of days ago, it was a, had a high of around 685, somewhere around there. Pulled back a little bit the next day and kind of corrected itself. And then today it took off from, looked to me like right around 665 all the way up to 920. It had a 930 high. So we broke past, the, and I'm going to go up, pull up a three-year chart on this and see how far we can take this thing. So here we went on a three-year chart. Yeah, that's what it says. Three years. We had a 925 high, and it ran all the way up to 1095, where the candle of that wick is. So we closed right up around that 925. You see this little thing right here? That's more or less the resistance. So I'm expecting maybe a pullback on this tomorrow for a correction. And then we're going to bounce back up and might hit up that $10 mark. And once it hits that $10, you're going to have new buyers come in. So keep TRPX close on watch. We had uh, the last three days, it's ran all the way from 408 all the way up to 920 in the past three days. And that's a beautiful yeah. car chart. Let's just look at the daily real fast. Make, let's look at the five real fast. You see how it's kind of been running for about five days now. This is about the fourth day. So let's see if we can get just a small little correction tomorrow and continue this run. And this is TRPX. Okay. And I will say there's been a lot of buying on this uh, stock. Yep. And looks like, to me, looks like the institutions were buying this one. I would say back in uh, January. So keep a watch on this because the move took place today. The accumulation took place back in January. So keep a watch on TRPX. Okay, so the next one is ABIO, stands for Arca Biopharma. And this is a swing trade I have since last week. And um, the reason I swing trading this one is that I am waiting to hear for some FDA news on ABIO. Further to that, the weekly chart is really, really, really nice. Um, and Jim's going to talk about the chart, but ABIO, we are waiting to hear some potential news. Now, again, as you guys know, you know, ABIO um, could have good news or maybe not. So when you're into these biotech stocks, you have to make sure, you know, that if you're going to swing this or hold on to this in anticipation that the news is going to be good news then you know there's always a risk that the news could actually not be in our favor so you know to be honest i've been in this stock since 64.95 okay and it today it tapped about 88 almost 89 so i'm gonna start moving up stop losses because you know i'm up not you know pretty good right now it's not not a huge gain but decent enough that there's some good profits here um so again, if you're in this from a swing trade, that's great. But I think there'll be some continuation here. We don't know when this news is coming. I know that it was supposed to tentatively come around November 2nd, which was Friday. So we could be hearing something any day. I mean, we could even hear something tomorrow. I don't know. All we know is that based on the FDA follow-up, we calculated that it should have been released around the November 2nd. So give or take, 
you know, a couple weeks. So again, keep this on watch and Jim can talk about that beautiful chart. Yep. So I'm looking at ABIO and and today we come real close to hitting a real good resistance and that's right there at 90 cents. I think I had 902 on here. And your next resistance after that, you're going to be running up to around 97. And then past that one you got a you know, a little past a buck. And this thing is, if it gets the news, it can go ahead and bounce up real fast and pull back. I mean, we could hit this other resistance up here right around 119, 120. So basically, keep this on watch. It's bullish right now. We hit one resistance, real good resistance at 90 cents. Come real close today. The next one is going to be right around 97. So this is ABIO, and let's just pull up the daily chart real fast, show you what kind of run it had. See how beautiful this is from 65 all the way up to 89, almost 90 cents. And that's about right where I had that resistance at. We were just a couple of ticks away. So keep it on watch and we're bullish on it. Even the pullbacks will be worthy of playable. And the next one we're going to talk about will be Grow. Well, Grow is growing. Um, I'm really liking this stock here for a swing trade. I actually noticed it today and grow is uh, a decent swing trade i mean even currently let's see here what's it at after hours it hasn't really moved a lot yet um but i did see it pop on scanners earlier today it was around 142 so it actually moved nicely like nice 20 cent jump um this was a swing trade from last week um even alerted earlier today it's going to take some time for the stock to move, but I would say it um, for a swing trade, I'm looking to see this go to 2, 204, and potentially even higher in the coming sessions. And Jim will tell us what he thinks about this chart, but uh, it looks pretty good so far. And I think we're going to see grow, grow. Yeah, for the last couple of weeks, it's had nothing but green candles. Nick bounced off a bottom of 116 and closed today at 163. And if you're looking at the year's chart right here, we run up against the 50 and the 100 SMA today. The next, which is the 200, is all the way up there. And this, the moving averages move on you each day. So we're looking at 225. And that looks pretty much like a pivot point for the year. That low support right around 342, somewhere right, right around there would be the yearly pivot point. So I'm going to pull up a 20-day chart and look at it real fast. And you can tell how the last couple of weeks have been very well to this stock. we got a new high right here of 170, 173 today. So I'm going to just pull up, let me see, back here to that year's chart and see if I can get a magnifying glass up here to the next resistance. So we're going to try to bring, well, this was beautiful right here today. You see that cherry right there at 173? That's where that high was. So the next one is 180, 193. I think the misses can bring it up to about 213 maybe to the 230. So if we keep this on watch, it seems like it's in a bullish channel right now. And we did hit the 50 and the 100 SMA. So let's see if we can get a little bitty correction pullback. Not much and keep continuing up and this is grow g-r-o-w okay and the next one is sin synthetic biologics you know this one's been popping on scanners for the last since last week it's been moving slowly but surely it's actually had a nice pocket pivot you know when the stock closed up and the volume for the day is higher than any other volume in the last 10 days and that's what happened today on grow uh, sorry on sin and uh i think sin you know you have to remember they did a shelf offering and that's because uh they don't need any additional cash uh they've actually sorry they didn't do a shelf offering they did an offering but that's also so that they would have funds to continue with their sin 04 and 010 which i've mentioned before and, you know, they don't need anybody to partner up with them. I think they're going to take their drugs and eventually get it to a phase three 
where they can commercialize the drug. And then when they get to a phase three, they're probably going to then be approached either a buyout or a partnership or something's going to happen. Uh, or there's going to be some sort of pharmaceutical company that's going to want to scoop up this drug and commercialize it and do some sort of partnership because this drug they're making is really for uh, people that have uh, IBS, which is a big problem in the, in the world and a very painful experience. So I think uh, if this drug can get to commercial phase three and they can release a PR down the road, the stock will fly because the float is very low. And uh, now that they don't have any debts, this is just the company's in very good shape to proceed with whatever comes their way next. And hopefully it's going to be future positive news. And that's re really what we're looking to hear in the future with Sin. But currently as a swing setup, it's a bullish swing and it's a good one to have. Jim, what do you think about that chart? Well, I'm loving the chart. It looks to me like it's had a little bit of drama here. I mean, just on... And I know this has had, uh, I'm pretty sure it's had splits and everything else. So SYN on my yearly it chart. It has. It has. Yeah. 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 2770 was a high. And we pulled all the way back to 78. And I think we hit a bottom again. As you notice, it started bouncing up a little bit. So let's pull up a 20 day. See how it kind of just sold off right there real hard. And then here we are at another bottom again. So I think this is a good bottom play. Keep it on watch. Definitely, I'm going to be probably zeroing in and out of it. And this is SYN. And let's just look at the, day's, the daily chart today. And it did have a pretty nice little bullish run today. And it had a high of 93 cents. So we pulled back to the moving averages. I'd like to see maybe a low of about 86. If it hits that low of 86, then we could probably bounce back up from there. And this is SYN. Okay. So, mass. Oh, and just to mention too, on Thin, they do have their um, operational highlights and financial results after hours on Thursday, November the 8th. Yeah, so, you might see people selling off because a lot of people don't want to hold into earnings so you might see that happen thursday before the markets close but then based on whatever happens with that call you might see after hour buyers yeah. so who knows what's going to happen here i'm looking at so, a breakout if it breaks out past 95 cents you could take yes. it up to 110 but it's got to break Ooh. at 95. all right and that's well, syn we've seen We've seen this go up to $8 not too long ago, and this was after the split happened. So we'll an see o what happens on SIN. We've got okay. an OTC special here. OTC special. So I have to, I was noticing this company, which is a Canadian company located in Vancouver. A lot of great Canadian companies. And uh, the company is owned and operated 100% by Digitron. Trade Financial Corp, which is publicly listed on the OTCQB. And uh, I noticed that there was a lot of action on the stock around 0 0.179. And you know what? This had a really nice close. This one here closed at, I believe, 0 0.0206. So I think we're going to look at some continuation. And, you know, this company is very similar to grow the one we talked about earlier they're kind of in the same line of business so you should keep that on your watch and uh, jim what are your thoughts on that chart because that had a pretty quick move you know within half an hour this thing moved pretty nicely yeah i think when i was in the room i was calling about two four five maybe we were going to see maybe tomorrow two four five and it actually bounced up a lot farther than what I what I thought was going to do. We hit a resistance, and that's at 0 .0206. And I'm seeing that here on the, on the on the chart. And I'll magnify it just a little bit up here. You can see this high right here. And that's about right where we hit it, right there at 206. So the next resistance is going to be right at 243, 246. And then we could bounce it on up. 
around 277 so I think long we're looking at around 37 maybe and that's in a three month period for resistance and we can go on from there later on once we break that because I mean you're looking at a year's chart and this is when we had that big Bitcoin run back here it ran all the way up to dollar six so don't get too too greedy with it take your profit I think a high you know very minimum high will probably be right around five cents and this is d-i-g-a-f well you know what i would take five cents i mean that's almost double what it is now yep yep <laughs> i mean who wouldn't want a hundred percent return yep. on an otc stock and, then and maybe, this is why sorry maybe from men you know that five five it might just it might shoot up more it depends and how the news takes it and everything else exactly and you know this is why i'm interested myself i'm going to sign up for that otc class because the coaching classes because um it's not going to be like a one-time event it's going to be ongoing each month because every week it's two classes a week an hour and a half each and every class is a different topic so it's not like the next month it repeats again it keeps going and going and going and we're going to see stocks that we're going to look at trading throughout the week so i'm so excited about that because i'm missing out on so many otc ones and the ones i've been catching i've just we've been you know fortunate because they've had news and we've caught a lot of marijuana stocks in the otc sector but there's a lot of really other good ones that we haven't you know caught on because my focus isn't on otc but that's going to change so i'm excited for what's coming starting next week and look forward to sharing how that's going with the YouTubers. So stay tuned for some more OTC talk in our market updates. And that's all for tonight, Jim. Do you have anything else to add? Nope. All right. Well, I hope you guys uh, liked today's episode. I know we didn't have one uh, yesterday and Friday. We don't really do one on Fridays. So we apologize for that, but we're back on track with our schedule. And uh, thank you so much for following and subscribing and for sharing your feedback. At the end of the day, we really try to do the videos to help the trading community. So thank you so much. And on that note, have a beautiful night and a great trading day tomorrow. Please take note of the ones we've talked about. And hopefully you'll be able to trade some green tomorrow. And we'll talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday, November 6th. Have a good evening. And this is Vegas. And this is Jim. And we wish you all a good night. This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim, November the 5th, 2018. I love stocks. <laughs>